Welcome to another episode of For the Culture Kitchen. As you can see, I'm wearing camo because the kitchen is a battlefield, guys. Okay, you gotta stay ready so you don't have to, what? Get ready. That's right. Today, I'm joined by a special guest. Yuka! This is Yuka. Yuka is, it's like if a potato and a yam had a baby, it would be Yuka. Yuka is commonly grown in parts of Africa, parts of Asia, and South America. This is an international root vegetable. Is this a vegetable? This is an international source of starch. It kind of looks like a pine cone too. Okay, if a potato and a yam and a pine cone had a baby, it would be this. This is the baby. <laughs> Yuka on the tree top. We're gonna be making yuca fries on today's episode with a nice cilantro mayonnaise lime dip on the side. Ew. Shout out to flavor, shout out to seasoning. Let's get going. First, let's go over our ingredients. We have our yuca, our extra virgin olive oil, some salt. That's not an ingredient. Lime juice because I don't have time to sit up here and squeeze a lime out, girl. A clove of garlic, Dijon mustard, cilantro, and of course, mayonnaise. Step one, preheat the oven to 425 degrees. As I said before, the kitchen is a battle and sometimes the battle gets hot. So you gotta preheat that oven, ladies and gents. All right, we gotta peel this. <laughs> oh, oh my God, it's purple. That's actually a cute color. Yo, thank God. Yo, if I didn't have this potato peeler, <laughs> what what yuca fries recipe? Not me. We don't cut with knives. We cut with peelers. That's on period. I don't know if I have to peel off all the purple that's on it, or if that part is like bad or something. Can I eat the purple part of yuca? The roots, peels, and leaves contain cyanogenic glucosides that are toxic. You mean to tell me that this could kill me? I don't like that. I don't like that. See, this is what I, you, I told you the kitchen is a battlefield. That's crazy. I, that was a joke. I was joking. I'm not joking anymore, this is serious. It actually said you're not supposed to use a potato peeler, it says you're supposed to use a knife. 60% of this video I feel like is just me cutting this. Why don't they sell this cut <laughs> already? I'm just saying, it can save you some time. Especially considering this is poisonous. Cyan cyanogenic glucosides. What in the, what kind of science? Not only is For the Culture Kitchen, you know, all about cuisines from around the world. It is also about chemistry. It's about science, ladies and gentlemen. It is about cyanogenic glucosides. And if you don't understand that, then I don't want you here. Turn the, turn the iPhone off. Get off Instagram. But make sure you like and comment first and follow me. The war is not over, but the battle the battle was just one. Go ahead and cut these into, you know, a fry shape. All right, I finally finished cutting these. Next, we're going to add our fries to this boiling water. I'm hoping that cutting the yuca was the hardest part of this whole recipe. <laughs> now that our yuca finished boiling, I'm gonna add it to this bowl. Then I'm gonna add some olive oil. They said to add sea salt, but we're real low budget here, so it's just iodized. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Okay, so while we wait for the yuca, we're gonna get started on the fresh cilantro lime mayonnaise. You know, if I was a professional, I mean, I am I am a professional, but if I was like a professional professional, I would have had this cut like done before I started filming, but 
y'all y'all already know what it is you know what i'm saying let me wash this now i need half a cup of packed cilantro leaves wow this is so tedious <laughs> uh, this better be the best cilantro lime mayonnaise i i done ever had Okay, people, finally, after a long, arduous process, I have picked enough cilantro leaves. Now, I'm supposed to put all these things into a food processor, but for now, we're just gonna have to use this blender. Two tablespoons of lime juice. One teaspoon of Dijon. We gotta take our garlic clove. Then finally, we're gonna add a cup of mayo. That tastes good. Oh, okay, that tastes good. Yeah. <laughs> Soldiers, we have fought many battles. We defeated the uh, cyanide glucose or whatever it was called. We battled the oven. We battled the cilantro. And most importantly, we battled that yuca. And I'm here to say that the war is over. Lay down your weapons, pick up your forks, and sample the yuca. We can't, we cannot forget the cilantro lime mayonnaise. We did it, we did it, we did it. Hey, no, we see most, we did it. Zoop, 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 zoop. We had to make that yuca and put it in the oven. Yeah, we did it, we did it, we did it. Okay, we had to chop that cilantro and put it with that mayo. We did it, we did it, we did it, okay. Let me put this down before I drop it. Another successful dish completed, and my mother wasn't in this video. I'm an adult. <laughs> Come for me, I'm grown. I can be in here by myself. Did I have to Google something about the yucca? I sure did, but it's 2019. That's not cheating. By far, the star here is that cilantro lime mayonnaise. I encourage anyone watching this I don't care what you do with yuca, potato, yam, whatever. Fry whatever you want. You got to make that. It's real easy. You see, I don't have a food processor. I'm poor. I use the blender. It's not even like a nice blender. It's a Krups. Have you heard of that brand? No. That concludes episode three for the Culture Kitchen. As you can see, it's only getting better. I've just jinxed myself for episode four. I'm gonna get off before I ruin anything else. Bye. <laughs>